What's up, bitches? Your girl, Carlos Morgan, and today I'm doing a cute glam, you know, beach look or whatever. My hair may look a little cray cray, but it's because um, I need to get my roots done. They're looking crazy, and I put it up so it's on my face. But let's get started. This is a cute, glowy beach look for the summer. I love beach looks. You have no idea. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Carolus Morgan and keeping a bad bitch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the Cover FX Illuminating Primer by Cover FX. I already said that. And take this primer. Oh. And put it on my skin. Duh. Y'all hear the birds chirping and shit outside? Like, damn. I'm filming. No, I'm playing. I don't care. Nature, do your thing. There is a fly in my room. <sighs> that I just want to pow in the face. I just want to bam! Punch it in the fucking face. For real. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the Cover FX Custom Enhancement Drops and the CC Better Your Skin But Better Game Foundation. This shit is the bomb by It Cosmetics. So, and then I'm taking the Cover FX Enhancement Drops and this is a key to make your glowiness, okay? Put a drop in your foundation and then boom, ready? Mix that shit in. Oh, this shit makes it so nice, so glowy, so beautiful, so popping. And I'm going to apply it on my skin like that. You know, honestly, you can also take your beauty blender and just pack it on or be ridiculous like me and do it that way. Honestly, I don't know why I did it that way because I don't normally do it that way. But anyways, I'm going to bring this in to my skin. But how is everyone's day going? Today I went to personal training, came home, took a fat ass shower. You know those fat ass showers? Let me zoom in. That you just really needed and loved. Ugh, those showers are the bomb, all right? So wash my hair. No, I really have to get these roots done, like for real. Wash my hair, my face, everything, just to apply this makeup on, but it's fine. <laughs> but I'm telling you, the showers after the gym, and expect those showers after personal training is what makes me fucking go crazy. But yeah, drag it onto my neck. Keep it cute. I'm telling you, personal training is gonna kick my ass. I like it, don't get me wrong. But if you guys are looking to lose weight, definitely, definitely look into a personal trainer because I went to the gym a shit ton of times before I started personal training and nothing made me sweat as much as personal training did for real. The next thing I'm gonna do is take the Tarte Concealer. Let's put a little bit on. And ooh, I need this concealer. It gives me bright eyes. It gives me cute, cute under eyes to make me look like I'm awake. When I get a bright eye, when I do a glowy look, it just makes me feel like more, I don't know, like enhanced, you know? So like, I don't know how to explain it, but for the beach and stuff like that, I love to use a brighter concealer because it makes me look more awake. It gives me a very boom look, but make sure you don't pick a concealer that's super whitening or super, not your tone, because then it'll look funky and give you backlash if you take pictures at night at the beach, which most people, do it in the daytime, so you don't have to worry about that. But 
So just be careful, don't get clocked, you know? The next thing I'm gonna do is take this setting powder, face powder, by It Cosmetics, and light. This is a great setting powder. For real, I like it. You know what, I forgot to set my face. I know I was like, something is naked. I don't feel right because I didn't set my under eye. And that shit is not cute if you don't set it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, this is an oldie but a goodie. I'm going to take the It Cosmetics Beach Bronzer, which as you can tell, I actually haven't used this in a pretty long time, but I used to use this bronzer a lot. Oh, and it's very orange, I feel, but it is perfect for the beach. I feel like it smells like coconuts, but it is a great, great bronzer. For the beach. This brush sheds so badly and I hate it. Oh my god, I feel like I'm looking really orange on camera, but I swear in person I'm not. Okay, the Morphe M500 is, uh, I don't know, maybe it's my brush or what, but this thing just sheds. And you can't really see it because I'm wearing a t shirt. But when I wear a v-neck, that shit is all over my chest all the time. It's so annoying. But whatever, right? Whatever. So I do use light bronzer and a light, you know, face. This might be a lot to some people. But if you go in water and stuff like that, you don't want your makeup to fall off. I feel like the more makeup you wear, the more it comes off. I don't know. I feel like the lighter I wear, it doesn't really come off. I don't know. That's what I notice with my skin. So that's what I do. I'm just looking at my roots. Like, bitch, you have to go do your roots. Oh my god, I should text my hair status right now. But you know, keeping it cute, keeping it classy, keeping it classy. I'm gonna take the dandelion blush by Benefit. Pack this on my cheeks. Okay, so to get a very beachy, glowy look, I'm going to take the Super Shock Cheek by Colourpop Cosmetics. Pop a little bit on my brush and just pop it on. So you can't probably tell because the splatter is not really like pigmented, the highlighter isn't. So just keep going. I feel like it makes a good base for when I apply the powder highlighter because it's like a cream-ish. So just apply this as a base and I go up. I don't like to streak it because I feel like it takes off my makeup and I fucking hate that. So I do it a lot because like I said, this is a very glowy look. So I am going to apply <laughs> a lot of highlighter because that is the point of a glowy look, okay? I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and go over that highlighter if you can see i feel like it sticks better it doesn't move my makeup and i love that i go from right here above my eyebrows because when i go like this at the beach it really pops i go a little bit i'm not a very precise highlighter on my nose i don't know why just don't give a fuck but you know i just like to highlight on my cheeks and my face i don't know if you can see as well as i can but i love it okay i love it then i'm just going to take a little becca champagne pop and apply some more bronze highlight this is a lot like i said so if you don't want to get this bronzy and glowy don't you don't have to look like a tin man you know from like wizard of oz if you don't want to but that's my cue to look how i want i like it like this so i'm going to take the covergirl 
This ain't no damn cover girl. This is cover FX. Do we finish setting spray? I want a dewy look. It's a dewy summer look. So I don't take an all-nighter spray because not my schmood. All-nighter spray doesn't look good with this look, I feel. It makes it look like a night look, and I want it to be glowy, dewy, cute, fabulous, and popping. So yeah, that's what I do. Then last thing I'm gonna do is take the Jersey Shore Cosmetics. Um, what is this? Dynamic Lip Gloss in the shade one. I really, really love their lip glosses. They're also cruelty free, so go check them out. This isn't sponsored. This is just one of my, you know, looks that I'm loving. So I'm just putting that under. Don't clock me yet, y'all. Now this is like a purple, but I'm not done. Okay. So, this is the finishing look, you know, a beach vibe. What I like to do is take this Sea Mist by Herbivore. It is a beach wave spray, lavender, and sea salt. And I just put it in my hair and I spray it, make it cute. This is just something cute for the summer, you know. Hey, girly. But I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. Go follow all my social medias, Carlos Morgan on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Boom, 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 bra. So thank you. Have a great day, and you guys are the bomb. All right, and enjoy your life at the beach. Okay, okay.